So today's meal is gonna be Calabrian shrimp and orzo with zucchini. This quick and easy dish highlights tender orzo pasta and plump shrimp, which get vibrant depth of flavor from a coating of hot red chili paste. I'm not gonna use a lot of that because Julie's not a big fan of chili paste. We're finishing it all with a bit of cooling creme fraiche and tart lemon juice. So yeah, we've got orzo and shrimp. Uh, we're gonna mix together and it's gonna come out hopefully looking a little bit like that picture there. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's open this up. We've got lemon. We've got some cheese, chili, which we probably won't use much of, <coughs> capers, and this is orzo. I don't think I've ever cooked orzo before, uh, as well as some creme fraiche and a lemon. I think the recipe only calls for one zucchini and they gave me two. One zucchini, yeah, so I've got an extra zucchini because Blue Apron is currently apparently in a zucchini glut so every recipe includes zucchini and even when they give you zucchini they give you more zucchini so you know whatever slice lengthwise all right quarter and dc the lemon I don't really know what de-seeding a lemon is supposed to look like. Uh, again, seed, seed, and one more in there. Okay, peel and roughly chop two cloves of garlic. That's one clove. Again, chop the head off, tail off. Maybe not as finely chopped as I might like, but that's fine. Add the pasta to the boiling water. Pat the shrimp dry. Okay. Remove and discard the tails. Okay, I was not expecting that. Detailing the shrimp. Detailing the shrimp. Detailing the shrimp. Detailing the shrimp. I don't know what I am doing to shrimp. I'm just pulling the tails off because that's what detailing means. It's different than any other detailing that I have ever seen. It's not like I'm drawing with pencils and it's not like I'm washing a car. It's like I am doing a cooking and brewing and it will go bubble and then it'll double. It will get into a pan and then I'll eat it. That's how this meal will work. If only I'd known I'd have not been a jerk to the shrimp earlier. Place in a bowl, add the chopped garlic, capers, and a little bit of the chili powder. Put a little bit of that in there to give it a little bit of flavor. If we put any more in, my daughter will not eat it. And add salt and pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Now I will cook the zucchini. Gotta make sure these shrimp get cooked all the way through because they're not actually cooked shrimp. So I don't do that. We could all die of shrimpanella or whatever it's called. There's our orzo. All right, starting to look pretty good. We got one more minute just to make sure. While we do that, let's grab our creme fraiche. Two wedges of lemon. We are juicing, turn this off, and we will go Okay. cooked pasta, cooked shrimp and zucchini, creme fraiche, the juice of two lemon wedges, stir to combine.
paste. For once, it does not seem to need more salt, but could use more pepper. Okay, there's more pepper in there. That looks like food to me. Garnished with the cheese blend and the remaining lemon wedges, blah, blah, blah. Labrian shrimp and orzo. So just finished eating our Calabrian orzo and shrimp dish. Yeah, Calabrian shrimp and orzo, I guess. I don't know, whatever it says. Um, so myself and my daughter ate it. Uh, takeaways. One, for the first time I think I actually used too much salt on something. So uh, I've been kind of just upping, upping the salt and now I know when I've gone too far. Good thing. Uh, you know, I've got to learn by getting there at some point. And it wasn't inedible, it was just, it was a little bit too much. Um, two, I was able to get a little bit of the cayenne spice in there, or the uh, spicy whatever, whatever they call it, Calabrian chili paste in there. Um, it didn't drive Julie crazy. Uh, I think the fact that it was countered by the creme fraiche made a big deal. Um, three, I definitely screwed up in how I had the zucchini and the shrimp in the pan. Um, I should have swapped sw sides. I had the zucchini, which was just browning on the hot side and the shrimp on the cold side. It was a mistake. Um, four, uh, and this is a bigger issue. Um, Blue Apron loves zucchini, uh, just really loves zucchini it seems like, and we are running low on love for zucchini in this house. So my daughter actually said to me today, she said, do you know HelloFresh? And I said, yeah. She's like, I wonder if they chip you too much zucchini in every meal. Um, so we may, be, we may be at a stopping point on, on Blue Apron in some way if we can't figure out a way to get less zucchini. So maybe I'll have to look at some of the upcoming recipes and pick the less zucchini option. Um, and then capers are not her favorite either, and this is, I think, the third meal with capers. So uh, some minor, you know, ingredient issues, some some other stuff. Uh, but most importantly for me, uh, figured out for the first time that I used too much salt. And uh, overall, pretty happy meal. You know, Julie said, uh, you know, I, I was able to eat around the zucchini and the capers. I wish there was more orzo and shrimp, but I would still eat it again. So, hey, that's not bad. And that's the meal.